Live from central Pennsylvania, this is CBS 21 News at 5. In Lancaster County, a teenager was arrested after police say she delivered her premature baby in her high school's bathroom and threw it in the trash can. Yeah, bail for 19-year-old Shirley Lafleur was set at $1 million. A custodian found the body at McCaskey East High School late last night. The infant was a male, late Tuesday night I should say, and an autopsy determined him to be 27 to 29 weeks in gestation. It's not clear if this baby was born alive. Lancaster Hospital has an alternative though when babies are born uh, from women that aren't ready to be moms. That's right, they call it the safe haven and it allows infants to be dropped off at their doorstep, no questions asked. CBS 21's Christina Butler live in Lancaster tonight with more on this. Christina. Yeah, Rob and Tanya, the safe haven program really is as easy as walking through the doors of any hospital in Lancaster County with your infant. But here at Lancaster General, there are also programs in place that aim to reach mothers before they give birth. The safe haven bassinets are right inside every hospital emergency room entrance or general entrance in Lancaster County. They hit the emergency button and they can leave. Registered nurse Donna Carr leads the safe haven program through Lancaster General Health. Any parent can take a newborn up to age 28 days. As long as there's been no evidence of abuse, that baby can be left in that bassinet no questions asked. She says she knows the stress an unplanned pregnancy can bring. And in extreme cases, the danger that follows that stress. I think most, the most obvious thing is a sense of denial. I, I'm just so overwhelmed with the fact that I'm going to have a baby. I shut down and I don't, I don't deal with it. I don't tell anybody about it. And then all of a sudden labor comes and then they're panicked. Mary Steffi is also a registered nurse. Stories we've heard are that they didn't want to let their parents down. They maybe broke up with the boyfriend and so they didn't want to face the fact that they are now pregnant. And those are all things we can help them deal with. We, we can help them through that. Before the safe haven option would even be needed, girls and women can call 211 and be directly connected to pregnancy testing options, health care, even transportation to appointments. It's just a really good clearinghouse where they can answer many of the questions that you might have. Teenagers do not need parental consent for prenatal care. Carr says no baby has been left in a safe haven drop off in Lancaster County, but the important thing is that it is there when it is needed. And I worked to help healthy babies be born. And I've seen women in very dire circumstances with the proper help and support come through and do very well and pa parent very well or make the hard choice. Maybe they want to place their baby for adoption. But when you see the loss of such an in innocent little life, it, it just seems needless. And McCaskey East leaders released a statement today saying they too have programs in place. Their programs are for expectant mothers and also for new parents who are high school students. Live in Lancaster, Christina Butler, CBS 21 News. All right, Christina, thanks.